Okay, so in this short video, I'm just simply going to show you how to use a chip chart in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing you want to do is obviously have a chip chart. And when you're shooting, uh, when you're in the environment that you're going to shoot in, um, and you have your camera settings and everything, you want to take a quick shot of your chart just like this. Um, I'd recommend definitely always shooting in log uh, if your camera can shoot in log and also uh, white balancing. Uh, remember to do that. A lot of people will shoot in log, but they will not white balance their footage, and then they basically make things a lot more difficult in the grade. So white balance and shoot in log. Take a shot of your chip chart a good you know, 10 seconds or so, and then once you're in DaVinci Resolve, it's pretty quick and easy. All you have to do is go down here to the bottom left and click on the chip chart icon, and then right over here on the drop down menu go to color chart and so what you want to do is right up here select your chip chart this one here happens to be a X-Rite color checker passport video and if you don't know which one you have a quick way to check is to one you know it usually says somewhere on the chart itself but if you check the color pattern here we have yellow kind of a pink, purple, blue, light green, green, and then skin tones here. And then if you look at this picture, it kind of matches. If I were to pick, say, something like this, obviously that does not match. It's not turquoise, purple, green. See, these don't match. So if you're ever selecting an option and it doesn't match, obviously you're doing it wrong. And most people, when they have issues, it's because they're not checking that. So this matches this. Okay, and then all I do is shape that to the chip chart or color chart. People call it different things. And then it's usually easier to zoom in to the window there. And then you want these little squares here to kind of land in the middle of the chart. Okay, and there we go that is probably good enough and now I'm going to reset it and then you want to select the color the camera source so you know if you did not shoot in log obviously you would leave it at rec 709 if you shot in black magic design 4k film you would set it to that etc area there's a lot of profiles here this one happened to be shot in a uh, Fuji log F log so which is not an option so if you're in a situation where you don't have an option there, I would just set it to auto. And then my target gamma and target color space are Rec. 709. That will be the case 99% of the time, probably if you're not sure what to set it to, um, I would just leave it at Rec. 709. Um, because honestly, if you are setting it to anything else, you probably know exactly what that space would be like P3, etc. But like I said, most of the time, just leave it here and then you just simply click on match. And there we go. It automatically balanced things out a little bit. Okay, so now that you've done that, you still have to color correct your footage. Um, a big misconception is that you simply apply a chip chart and then you're done, your footage is color corrected, and then people get confused because they do this and it doesn't look perfect. So they wonder, you know, what am I doing wrong? But this is just an initial step to white balance and kind of get your footage started. So always remember that once this is done, you still have to keep going and color correct your footage. So what you want to do now is I'll just kind of turn that off so I can see better and then go back to the color window, move my scopes over here and I'll set the waveforms. There we go. And you still have to balance your footage. So now, you know, just go ahead and set your black levels here and then your highlights looking at the waveform and it looks a little too saturated for my taste so now I will kind of give it a more natural look there and I basically just adjusted you know the lift the gamma and the gain here you can see and I kind of desaturated things a little bit and so there we go we started off here we applied the chip chart and then we did a basic uh, balance you can see it's pretty well balanced there and that's it so it's that easy okay so hopefully you learned something um, 
I'm going to definitely keep publishing more videos here, so definitely subscribe, comment if you have any questions, um, and I'll see you in the next video.